What's up? Hey, Trey. Uh, started beating. For what? What's going on? A lot. Like? Well, Trey. Same way. Same way you feel. No, no funny shit. Same way you feel when people talk about your dead mother. At night time, mm -hmm. after everything has went on, and you just remember her and just think about it, and you just didn't let everything out. Nobody don't mm -hmm. see what you're going through, and you come back mm -hmm. on the next day acting like everything good, and they do it again, and you go and you cry at night. They come back the next mm -hmm. day, do it again, you cry at night. Do you ever feel like anger is getting built up in you because people just talk on on shit that you've really been going through and that you are sad about? Stuff that you think about not... at night time. Do you, ever, do you ever sit there and be like, damn, why are these people just bully me over shit that I couldn't control? And I really miss this person type shit. Well, 21, if you're not trolling and you serious, I would love to have a conversation with you, beautiful. But, um, um, sometimes what happens on here is that we do stuff and then we go backwards. We say shit on here, then we go backwards. And I, I do the same thing, girl. So I'm not innocent. But so, do you ever? But what about the people that? But about your mother have passed away. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and you couldn't I control do. it. I do, and you know what it is, twenty one. What, what I think about is, since I've been on here, I think you can probably agree. I've kind of grown numb to certain I things. Did, I did, but, but sometimes I can't take it no more. <laughs> Let it out, baby. No. It, 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 it made me numb to where people was like, oh, you didn't cry about your daughter. You didn't cry about it. You didn't cry about it. But I did. And now it's just like where it's all so much anger built up to where like I can just, I can talk about other people's kids now. I can talk about other people, mm -hmm. deceased people. I don't want to mm -hmm. feel like that, and I don't, I don't want to mm -hmm. talk about your mother. I don't. I don't mm -hmm. want to talk about your mother. Vice versa. I, don't I know you either. feel a certain way because I feel a certain way, and I feel I. I don't feel good when I go to sleep after talking about your your people. Like I don't feel good to talk after talking about nobody. People, I don't feel good. So I just well, you know what I would, can I say something? I think that being on here, and that's why I said Beagle is like its own little world because it's kind of like you give out what you give. So if you're giving out hate and you're spewing hate and then now you're receiving it, it don't feel good. So I feel like, girl, as a whole, we should stop going so far. I've been saying that, but girl, I right message, wrong messenger with me because I'll say that and get frustrated and read each other. I'll get in and I start reading again. I'll take a little break and start reading again, doing health reads, death reads and a pl you know, the, the whole nine yards. So, girl, I'm willing to try to make that change again with you. And I think we had this conversation before. Where we so, do you do you feel like do you feel like it's gonna start with just the big broadcasters of just changing the ways because a lot of people come on here and they try to mimic us so they can get beans? Do you feel like we just need to switch it up because a lot of these shows, even the show that you went on, you don't we don't have to be talking about dead people. We don't have right. to do that. We don't have to make people feel. We don't have to make people feel like that. Like it's not even even the show that you said you was on. You said you said you didn't you didn't want to be fighting. And you just wanted to you know make peace and do all that mm -hmm. show. So, do you feel like you can do it on this app because you did it on the show, or do you feel like you're gonna do it on the show throughout the show, or what? Um, 
I think this is a different world than TV. This is not, you know, I, I think this is different. On here, I feel like you only can go live. Like, we not around each other. With them people, I was around them. So the, the, the bond was different. You know what I mean? I got the feeling who they were, for real, for real. On here, I don't get to know who y'all really are because sometimes we put up acts, we put wigs on, we do shows, we do content, we do shit like that. So on when I was in person, this was more so like some real shit face to face. But on there, it was not like that. So Beagle is different. So I don't think we can do that on here because sometimes we roast each other. We go too far with our reading, though. Sometimes viewers like to see us read each other and get into it. But sometimes we go too far not knowing that we went too far. Like, bitch, I done just read her, read her kids, read her living situation. So what I think is... So do you think that we can get some type of maybe group chat to where we all the big broadcasters can get into it to where... Cause I think that be I honestly think that Brigo be adding comments into these little sections to where we get into it with each other. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like Brigo is into it. They want to see it. They want people to come <laughs> to here. They see the drama. They see what it brings. And I'm not gonna lie. Wait, I, you think Brigo? I've, I've talked to Brigo people on this app before. <laughs> Dre baby. When we been on the group chat before, in the, in the Bigo group chat, they had all messy people in there, right? Well, it wasn't no no big ass broadcasters that was getting money. It was just black people. It was me, you, Charlie, well, Pumpkin, I'm, I'm Ashley sure Shepard. They know the messy girls. It was, they know the messy girls, and yeah, I, yeah, I know they know what we're doing. Though they know what we're doing, it was not no white people in there. It wasn't the white people have, that was like, getting money. It was just the, the middle class. Wait, it wait, wait, wait. It was the middle class broadcasters. Think about it. No. Middle I, no, class. Is, because it was, it was more people getting money. It's more people getting money on. on this app than us. Can I listen? First of all, I think they know the 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 different sides. They know the different sides. They know that they trade beans versus us. We get a lot of organic support. Beagle knows that. When you trade beans, they don't really make money because you're just throwing the money. Back. They know that. Hold on. Let but me that's why they stir the drama up. Let me, finish. let me finish. So when you trade beans on here, a lot of them are business people, y'all. So if you trade beans and doing all that and they know that versus getting organic support, they really don't get a lot of money if you trade and get beans back and forth because it's not nothing being recharged a lot. So us, we get a lot of organic support and we get a lot of viewers traffic. So them, they don't really get a lot of viewer traffic. The white people don't get a lot of views and traffic. So people be saying these bots, but oftentimes these are real people mixed in with bots. But a lot of this is real people and organic supporters and Beagle sees that. So, yeah. So, I think that's why... They I've had celebrities come in my box. Denny, Denny Blaze come in my life all the time. I've, I got a lot of people that come in my room. They're celebrities. A lot of people come in our room because, guess what? If you make a new page, you going to see who is the top broadcaster. It's going to be these black bitches. They want you all to follow them because they want you to see what we're doing. They want y'all to get involved in the drama. They want y'all to feel like, oh, yes, yeah, it's drama. I can, I can be in this. Well, I don't know about that, all that. But I do know is that 21, you might need to take a break, girl. If you feeling like this and you feeling like, because that's your child, bitch. Now, me, I don't got nothing to, like, necessarily live for. Like, I don't have no kids. So it's just me, a nigga, and some dogs. You got, you know, you got you got stuff to live for. So, it's, though, you got to protect it just a little bit more sacred. And 21, like... Like, I don't know what's going on with you, but what is going on? Is this, like, a cry for help? Do you need some, like, what do you need, beautiful? Because it's so much that's going on with you. <laughs> and then, as you said the question, I, 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 got, I don't I think got, you, got, you got, 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 uh, People keep... People keep fucking with me. People keep fucking with me. They act like I don't have no feelings. They act like... People, well, I ain't gonna act like, I ain't gonna say they act like I don't have no feelings. I'm gonna put my feelings to the side. I just act like this shit don't bother me. Everybody keep coming up here talking about my child, talking about how to bury her and kill her. No, that shit gets to me at nighttime. I've been, I've been, I'm sorry, I've been, I've been tired of it. I've been tired of it for a minute. And, and just putting this shit to a side. It's just, it's just whatever. Girl, I'm not going to sit up here and like I'm perfect. 
I, girl, none of us are perfect. Girl, I'm not perfect. You see me have a meltdown on here. Girl, so I know, like, mental health is real and shit like that. But, girl, I think, like, what is going on? It like, doesn't matter. Okay. If I still haven't had a child die, like, my child was in me for nine months, bro. My baby dead, bro. <laughs> After five years, and people just be like, oh, you don't care about it. You don't care about your child. No. Y'all parents don't care about y'all after they seen what y'all done grew into. I didn't get to see what my child grew into. She didn't never get to say a word to me. I didn't have nothing against her. I didn't care. Whatever she did, I have to change a diaper, do this, do that. I didn't care. These people okay, parents so don't like that for a reason. What happened? What, okay, so we can't change the past. All we can do is go forward and make better decisions. So what is going on with you right now? What type of mental space are you in right now? I'm just in the mental space of... I don't know. I don't know. Right now, I don't... I don't know what to say. People keep fucking with me. Because I don't even know what to do. Because I'm doing what I can do. I'm doing what I can do, but... Like, people don't just understand what I'm going through because they're not going to understand. It's they never you. understand. They never, nobody going to never understand. So it don't matter to me. Like, at this point, I just try to, like, just Of bust, course, say, a lot of us are not understand because some of us are in parents or some of us have different situations in our lives. So we're so, like, Oh, I wouldn't have done this. I wouldn't have did this. So we're not in your shoes to make decisions or make uh think like make uh decisions that you would have possibly made. But like, it's a lot of people that feel like twenty one. You just like abandoned your kids. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people that feel that way on here. So a lot of people don't fuck with you based on that. So you gotta really fuck with those who really fuck with you and understand your story and it's understand. Not your story. Abandoned by, it's not even abandoned my kids. So I need my mother number right now. And you can call her, and she's not going to tell you I abandoned my kids. She's going to tell you that I took care of my kids as much as I as, as Thank y'all. much as I did. I took care of my kids, and I did the best of my ability. And she's going to tell you that she that I gave them to her and gave them to my family. That's all she's going to tell so you. So let me ask you my, this, sister. No, let me, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this, because you have seen a lot of people, parents, come out here and speak on them. You have seen JB's mama come on here. You have seen Charlie mama come on here. You have seen a lot of people, parents come on here. But after everything I have went through, you have never seen none of my real, real family. My mother, my sister, my brother, none of my brothers, none of my sisters, none of my aunties, my aunties that have my child. You have never seen them come on here. Just people but, trying to get clout, just random people. So. Yeah, but the difference between them stories you just said, none of them have children. So it's kind of different. That's a different type of scenario. But what I will say to you is that um, what is the status today? Like, what is the status today with you and all the kids in your custody and your room? Is that like still a, a problem, or can it, are you ready or no? Yeah, I'm ready. So what's holding you back? Nothing. My um, my mother, my. My mother and my auntie have been calling me for the past week. And okay. I have not put it on here because everybody's going to send it back to them and tell them that, you know, what's going on. But I've, I've told my mother that I haven't been drinking that much and I have my own place to stay. And she said that she's going to talk to my auntie and she want me to talk to my auntie about getting my kids back because they have grown. I don't, I don't really understand it, but they, for some reason, want to fucking keep my kids. Like, they just love them. And it's not even about loving them, but I love my kids too, but it's just like they acting like they just just birth them or something. Yeah, I, I, I can't explain it. I just cannot. I cannot. I can't, bro. They acting like they them just birthed them out of nowhere, and they keep acting like they just grew them up. 
and not want to give them unless I do certain things, even though they don't have custody of them. So I can do custody and weird ass shit with my family, but I'm not supposed to do that. I'm not supposed to take my family to court. I'm not going to take my family to court. I'm not grown up to take my family to court. My mom, my mother told me, don't never take your family to court because God gonna have his judgment day. You don't need to do that. You don't need to take your own family to court. That's what, just what my mother told me. So I, I don't know. I really don't know. They just keep trying to keep them from me. Every time I do something, like when I got off the psych board, they said this. And then when I did this, they said this. Then when I got this, they said this. Then when I moved here, they said this. Now I say I got this. Then they saying this. Even though I got a house and this, they said this. So. <clears throat> it's crazy. Well, first of all, 21, let's just. First of all, let's send a huge shout out to your family because um, a lot of times kids get put in the system, they get separated. So shout out to your aunt, your mom, your I mean, your aunt and your grandmother for stepping up to the plate and taking on the mother role. You know what I'm mean? saying? And it also sounds like they want to protect these kids. They obviously see something, girl. They have access to YouTube and stuff. And girl, seeing you on here, girl, sometimes you be fighting, drinking, smoking. Acting a fool, girl. So they probably getting all the tea on the back end. And girl, every time you come to them, they like, girl, they change it. They like, girl, do this, do this. Because they seeing that you're not making no progress behind the scenes. And girl, no shade 21, girl. Like, I ain't trying to like get in your business, but girl, it do seem like girl, you be like doing your own thing, girl. You be like out having fun turning up. And they probably see like she not taking it serious. Because if she was serious, she probably be like trying to get a job, trying to like, you know, give different content. Girl, you know what I'm saying? They know you're a broadcaster. But, Jay Baby, can I talk? Can I talk, Jay Baby? Yeah. I've, I've never had a job where I make more than money than what I make right now. So, we always, but you know that we make more money than we have ever made before on this app. So, I'm never going to stop what I'm doing now. But at the same time, I do certain things as a character. You know you do certain things on this app that you wouldn't do off the app. You just do it for content. And some things I do, and they just judge me off of it. And then not only that, they was calling the CPS on me and calling the police on me and doing other things to where I just feel like I didn't have no choice to give them up. But I did have a choice, and that's not the that's not even the reason. But I can get them back. I just have to find. I just have to be stable. That's the only thing that my kids need is stabilization. And my kids. Got it from my auntie because I've always wanted to live with my auntie. Growing up, I've always wanted to live with my auntie over my mother just because I know right. how she raised so, her kids. I know you so, said, like, how much money you I put them much in a good place. Right. And we hear you say how much money they, but it seems like this is coming at a price. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she probably have great supporters. A lot, do, everything but, gonna come at a price, though, but everything right, but your, come, your, everything. But your mother, but but 21, clearly it's not working. It's not working in your favor. Clearly it's not working in your favor. Because if you're saying that the reason why you won't stop is because of money and it's like messing with you getting your parental rights back for your children, you need to stop. I already got, I, no, I never lost custody of my kids. I never lost custody of my kids. Well, you just said never. they won't give up. You saying they won't, I'm talking about parental rights, meaning your, your people's won't I give them said, back. No, I said they, they not giving my kids because they want me to have somewhere stable to stay and they want me to do, be, they want me to have a job. Right, so they, they, they don't work. They want. They don't want no, to this, this what, Listen, listen. My family's so fucking weird, Dre. It's other people that have weird ass families out here. I know that you probably don't. Have, I don't know what you're going through, but my family, my mother's side. This is my mother's side, man. My daddy's side. My mother's side want me to work for them. They want me to get homes in Detroit because the homes down in Detroit is so cheap. They all want me to be. To break bread off on homes and get them fixed up and shit. I don't want to do that. That's not what I want to do. My uncle, well, I, I ain't gonna talk about that, but I don't want to do that. 
that's not what I want to do. So it's it's my money. That's all they want me to do. Like no. Um, girl, no shade, but me just hearing it, it's kind of like you should listen to them because they the only ones really like in your corner. They got confused. So, girl, I know it's not something you want to do. I know it's not something you probably want to do. What y'all think that she is smell like? <laughs> no, but what I was saying to everyone is that, girl, you need to listen to somebody because your thoughts alone ain't working. Girl, they got my the father has my my father passed away. My my grandmother, my my sister passed. My sister signed everything that my father owned over to my grandmother, and my grandmother stopped talking to me. And every time I see my grandmother in any store, any time I see my grandmother, she don't say nothing to me. She just walk right past me. So, no, I don't need to stop none of this shit I'm doing right now. Because that shit was three years, five years ago. And then nobody had no feelings for me when my father died. Now, my, my, my motherfucking daughter died, bitch. And everybody talked about her. And no, I don't need to have no feelings now that everybody getting in the car accident and shit. I don't need to. I don't want to. I don't care to. I don't care. I don't. Nobody cared when I was going through that shit at nighttime. Sleeping through that shit. Waking up in the middle of the night. Crying. Missing my family. My my daughter. My, my father. Nobody cared. No, I don't care about you bitches. I'm not going to care about you bitches. I hope all you bitches die. <laughs> I hope all you bitches die. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> die, 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 die. So what is it that you want? Can we hear what you want? What is it that you want? Die. I want to die, die. I want them to 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 die. Didn't it care when my daughter passed away? Dre, baby, you didn't even care when my daughter passed away. You talked about me so much. And I, I know how you... you. <laughs> how did you feel when your mother passed away? How did you feel? I was how did so you feel? What I was age? Sad. What age? What age were you? I was 16. And your mother passed away and what? You just was okay with the shit? Mm-mm. Because my grandmother died five months later. I was not okay. No, I'm sorry for talking about your family, bro. I'm not okay either. So I'm not okay. I'm far is not okay. Um, um, I just try to make myself numb to shit. I make myself so numb to shit. I just try not to care about the shit and everything. But mm -hmm. no, I have a child that came out my pussy that have died. So you need to find some type of closure. You need to find some type of closure. Okay. No. no. Time to let go. You have other kids to think about now. You know what I'm saying? You will always grieve your daughter. You will always mourn your daughter loss. Of course, she's here with you in spirit. But you have other children you have to think about. It's almost like you've given up, 21. We don't need you to give up. Nope. We need you to give in. Give in to what they're saying to you. Give in to what your family is saying. They say, 21, we need you to get yourself together. We need you sober. We need you attentive. We need you back in Detroit, fooling around with the family, getting back acquainted with the kids. You become a family. Okay, because you doing your thing. You running around with TKO. You running around with Savannah, Madam Low. That's not going to get your kids back, baby. That's going to get you in some more trouble. Uh, so running around with Demi. How can you make all these excuses? Okay. Um, 
It's Sister, not, it's not excuses. It's not excuses. My, my child is gone. It's not excuses. Y'all have been bullying me, bro. What about the other kids? What about the other kids? We ain't got nothing to do with that. But we ain't got nothing to do with that. All you right. keep mentioning everything about what the but what we talking about. We keep saying we bullying you and they didn't talk about my daughter, girl. We ain't got nothing to do with that, for real, girl. I, sticks and stones, girl. You keep you can't keep making all these excuses for why you're not in your children's life. First it was CPS, yeah. then they was yeah. calling. Girl, you gonna have excuses up until they grown. It's gonna be an excuse every time until them kids is off to college and don't need you no more. While they need you and you is vital and time is ticking and they in them real vulnerable states, you need to get back soon because you don't want that you don't want that missing you to turn into resentment. Okay? Yeah, you're right. You're right. So girl, while they young and like, you know, still able to like not really fall you know, like form like where you at. Why are you not around? You can still try to make it up to them. You know what I'm saying? Because I know when yes. I was like 16, 17, I was at that point where it's like, bitch, daddy, what can you do for me? All you can do for me is give me money now. I done made my mind up. My grandmother is my mother. Yeah. These are my friends. I look at my aunt, she's like, I don't look at you like no mother, girl. I look at you as like a donor. So, girl, yeah. you, need to hurry. Yeah, you need to hurry up and make some real, real tough decisions. Give in a little bit. You've been doing what you You're want right. for years, 21. You're right. You're right, Jay, baby, but I just, I just been. You got to listen like, now, beautiful. You've been doing what you I want. Know, yeah, you I do. Listen. I do, bro. I've been going through so much shit. I want to do it. I just, I do want to do right. And I'm. I regret all the shit I wasn't able to do, but I just know that I put them in a good spot for them to be able to yeah. get everything they was able to do, and I don't regret that part because I know that that's what I wanted to. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be in that same spot with my auntie and not with my mm -hmm. mother. So mm -hmm. I, it's not too late. I, it's not too I late because they still say twenty one. Yeah, and they still say twenty one. Come to Detroit, get this, do this. We want you to have the kids. I don't Your need to go to Detroit. Is, I just, I don't need to go to Detroit. I don't need to. I thought you said they want you to come back. My grandmother, my family have died. My family have died. My family died. My, uh, my family, my, my people have died. Like, I just got my grandma right now. I thought you said they were my grandma. Come back. And what's going on? You know, right now, right now, it's just my grandma and my mother. And but my, let me tell you something you need to get them kids from out your grandmother's care because you know why? My Strokes my grandmother with, don't have them. My auntie you, do. My auntie. Oh, the grandmother don't got the kids? No. How old is your auntie? She about, uh, probably 49, 48. Yeah, you need. She need. You need to um. You need to like get them out of get them from her. Yeah, because like because she's too old you know. and she she need to live her life and she need to and all my family need yeah. to live her life. I'm not. It's not. It's it's not. The it's not their responsibility. Mm -hmm. It's not my fa it's not my family responsibility to take care of my kids. I already understand that, Jay baby, and I, I understand that they they. They took it on. They did that. They wanted to. They knew that they could, and they take a village to raise a child. Like it really do. Like I couldn't do it on my own, and my family really took it on. And I wasn't even talking to my family at the time when they took my kids. I was not talking to them. It was just me, and mother, and daddy. So, uh. I got. I, I don't got no resentment to, towards my family. I. Mm -hmm. It's just the fact that my daughter died when she was with them, and everybody keeps saying I kill her. I miss her so much. I, I cry about her every day. I miss all my kids so much. I, mm -hmm. I cry about them every day. Mm 
And it, mm-hmm. it, is, it, it is what it is. Like, mm-hmm. there's nothing I can do until I really do it. So it's nothing I can really mm-hmm. Like, it don't matter what I say. Like, I just really got to do it. And sometimes it's not in mm-hmm. me. Like, I just be going through too much to even do anything. Sometimes I don't feel like waking up. And then when I do wake up, I get on here to make the money. So I do have to get it so I can do what I need to do. <laughs> but it's so hard, bro. Um, I miss my family so much. I miss all of my family. I miss them. I don't talk to them no more. I don't talk to really nobody no more, but Mm-hmm. I'm sorry for talking about your mother, and I know you already apologized to me about my child. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but what, I will say, mm-hmm. what I will say, twenty one, <laughs> is that it seems like you blaming everybody but yourself. You yeah, I am. For, I am. Well, hold on, let me let me get it out. You are the reason for all this. Your grandmother, your auntie, they did not. Um, push these kids out you did you are the bear I, I did I did I am you are the responsibility I know so that's why it, that's why it's so that's so why it's so much about? what are you crying about because because it's like yes I pushed my daughter out I didn't expect her to come out with brain damage I didn't expect it we're not talking and about then that baby did. no so no, after no, 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 my no. Job, we're not talking about that we talking about the ones that's living, baby, that you can make an impact on. Baby girl is she's in the next my life. Child, she's in the next my season. child, but my you can't children keep that I, my children that no. are still alive. I still have not. I have not ever in the past two years talked to them about their fa- they daughter, they sister dying. I just didn't. My my auntie did, and I didn't, I didn't have no courage to do it, and I, I still don't. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Twenty one. You are my, you're not doing that. Baby. I'm talking about I, the ones. That are I'm telling evil. you about my. I'm telling you about my children. But if you keep you talking about that. But she has passed away, beautiful. And I'm sorry to hear that. But it that's doesn't not matter, bro. I'm still thinking about her every day, bro. It don't matter if she passed away. I still got to wake up to her. I still got to wake up to it. Like, you passed away. No, she passed away by something to wake up to her, Dre, baby. What are you talking I, about? You wake no, up to I, your, I, do you not wake up to your mother every day? Do you? If you not... If you're not if you're not thinking about your mother, if you're not thinking about your mother when you wake up, what are you thinking about, Dre Baby? Tell me him. right now. No, listen. Tell me I, if you're not thinking about your mother. Can I get it out? When you, you cannot, you Dre wanna, Baby, tell me right now. If you're not thinking about your mother when you wake up, what do you think about? I would hate to say this, but it feels like you are using that as a way of deflecting. I'm saying it is sad, but you have other children to live for that are here on earth. Like, it is unfortunate that she passed away, but sweetie, you cannot sit in this grief when you have other kids to worry about. <laughs> you the patience on them. God forbid something happens to them and you and you get out of another No, it feels like you have a guilty conscience. And I'm going to be real. It feels like you have a guilty conscience. As a lot of people get, when you feel like you, you know, wasn't present. You, know this. you wasn't no. present. But she wasn't present. You feel a guilty conscience. It's not necessarily all you miss her. We know you miss her, but it's something more, it seems like. Because you got so many other beautiful kids that, that's there that can use you and um love on you and need needs um schooling and needs nurturing, needs understanding. But this one that passed away, it's something like you feel as though it's a guilty conscience. Like, I sh- know I should have been there. I know I could have done more, but I blamed everything else. And it's you doing it again. So it's like... Girl, you cannot sit in that grief and sit in the past. But what are you doing to work towards the future? And your your aunt and your grandmother is laying it out for you. They saying, "Come do this X, Y, and Z." I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm gonna call my mother. I'm gonna. Shit. Hold on. Let me I'm not bothering you. You can't even. You can't even call your mother.
girl. Wait, what happened? Did you say I can't call my mother? Now 21. Now now Mr. Dell, Miss 21. Now Miss 21. You can't call your mother. She in the casket. Now Miss 21. Now Miss 21. Now Miss Yeah, somebody send me 200 bees real quick. Now Miss 21. Now Miss 21. Now Miss 21. Bitch, you know I'm on edge as is. So girl, don't start with me, bitch. It don't take much for me to go backwards, girl. I'm, I'm. We just said we're not doing it, and girl, look at you. You just set up here and just tried me out of nowhere. Here, right? Just up me out of nowhere. You set up here, and here just tried me. I don't got time for this shit, bro. I'm just so tired. No, ain't no you so tired. Of shit, bitch. So... You want somebody to um coddle uh, your back? We're not coddling your back, bitch. We kicking you in your ass. Get up off that bed. Uh, go get them kids. You need to hear that, girl. You trying to sit back? No, we're not doing that no more, girl. Them days is over. We holding you accountable, Miss Twenty One. We want to see what you can do in the next twenty one days. We're gonna put your name to the true test, Miss Twenty One. You got mm -hmm. how many more days left in here? It's about twenty more more days left. <laughs> Damn, that's so funny. It's about twenty one more days left. <laughs> we're going to do the next twenty one. <laughs> And then let's see, they, so today, June 9th, let's see what you're going to be doing June 10th, June 11th, June 3rd. <laughs> girl, you looking for sympathy, and we ain't giving it out. Because if you not, girl, you are able to have a conversation like, I'm going to get on my shit. You want to speak positive thoughts over yourself.